Yeah, the plan suggests that you should do the pivot tube from two pieces. Uh, one round steel bar and then make a ring and glue it uh, with the uh, Loctite. But I, I think I will do it from one solid piece. I save a little time that way. Uh, after that, it's, uh, we have this, uh, this little ring that should be on the other side of the pivot tube. And, and uh, both the ring and the tube should have a milled 5mm slot. And the pivot plate should have two 4mm uh, hole as well. Time for some uh, knurling. quite nice. Now I have to bore this um, sleeve to one inch exactly. That is to fit this uh, Morse adapter and uh, according to the plans it should be as close to one inch as possible. One thousandth of an inch above is okay. That's uh, two and a half hundredths of a millimeter. Um, to make that with a boring bar is uh, could be a little bit tricky. The last cut will always um, be a little bit more than expected. Anyway, I will try to go as close as possible to one inch and then we will see how we reach the inch. On the inside now we have a 25.22 20, uh, a little bit further in we have 25.05 and the reason why I did it that way this reamer, it's one inch reamer, uh, it's a little bit tapered in the nose. So the first inch is not exactly one inch in diameter. After an inch, about an inch, then we have one inch in diameter or 25.4. In the nose it's uh, 24 point eight something. So this way I hope that I can make the brooch center in this sleeve. And then, uh, then I will uh, turn the brooch by hand. Uh, 
that's the only solution I have to make this hole as perfect as possible. Well, this is a time consuming operation. Uh, Well, now and then I have to uh, remove the reamer from the hole just to clear the swarf and uh, and as you can see it's cutting quite all right it's maybe a little tight for a reamer but uh, this will probably take the whole night Okay, everything is cleaned up and now we'll check if uh, the Morse adapter will fit into the hole. And it seemed to do that. Quite nice fit. And it's a nice plop when you take it out. Now let's, me let's measure the hole and see how close we are to 25.4 millimeter. That's the same as uh, one inch. And there it is. 25 4 3 0 so it's uh, three hundredths of a millimeter above one inch or 25.4 millimeters and inside it's uh, Two and a half hundreds above, and two and a half hundreds of a millimeter. That's the same as one thousandth of an inch. So, well, it's a quite good fit. We have to be satisfied with that. I think. Now we need to face off this flange. So the width of it will be 7.9 millimeters and when it's uh, faced off we will uh, make a 5 degree camphor on it. Time for a pivot plate. It's just like a disc, uh, just parted off from a piece of round stock steel. Drill a couple of holes and mill a slot in it.
n mil to get the flat inside of, of the hole so I just have to um, bore it Okay, then just part this off and um, uh, face it on the other side. Well now we are going to face the other side of this uh, little plate. And how to uh, make this one stay flat in the shack. I watched the video on YouTube the other day. It was a guy who had a very very nice solution for a backstop if you have a collet in the spindle on the late. I will put a link in the description to this video. It's really worth looking at. The solution is simple. Now I have the collet in the lathe and the shack is mounted on the spindle. Just to push in this little backstop. And I can lock and adjust now the collet is locked and I can tighten the part like that. That's a really elegant solution. I really like it.